Section 15D, question number 3, page 371. This question re uh, asks us to find the derivative, uh, find the gradient uh, fu uh, function for this uh, function here, and then make sure or show that that derivative equals what's given in the book. And hopefully if I do this correctly, it will turn out as uh, required. So uh, first of all, I'm going to rewrite this into exponent form. And now I will take the derivative by differentiating using the quotient rule. So I take the derivative of the top, which means I'm bringing the 1 half down in front, which will multiply by the 2, so half times 2 is just 1, leaving the x and subtracting 1 from the exponent, which will leave me with x to the negative 1 half. So that's the derivative of the numerator. I then multiply by the denominator, and then I subtract the numerator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator, which in this case is just negative 1, all over the denominator squared. So I just clean up the, the numerator a little bit. There's not much I can do, actually nothing I can do with that first term. But then I'll just bring the negative 1 and the negative 2 together. It can be positive 2x to the 1 half, and over 1 minus x all squared. Now from here I'll factor out what's common in the numerator and I see that x to the negative one-half is the power of x that's the smallest so I will factor that out so I get x to the negative one-half out here that leaves the one minus x here and then this leaves plus two x all over one minus x squared and then when I simplify up here I will get uh, 1 plus x and this x to the negative 1 half because it's negative it will go down into the denominator and the 1 half can be rewritten uh, as in square root form to give me root x quantity 1 minus x squared. So this is as required. Part B asks us to find when dy by dx equals 0, uh, that's for part 1, uh, or is undefined, which is in part 2. Um, so the derivative equals 0, so I can set the derivative equal to 0. And when I multiply both sides by the denominator, to clear that out, I get 0 equals x plus 1, and when I solve for x, I end up getting uh, negative 1 equals x, which is, of course, turning that around, x equals negative 1. But unfortunately, uh, that's not valid, because we see that if we look at the, um, the root part of this denominator, we see that x um, must be greater than or equal to 0 uh, for this part. Sorry, actually, uh, that's not correct. Um, the, the function dy by dx um, is actually undefined uh, when x is less than or equal to 0 here, and because negative 1 is in this range of being less than or equal to zero, then therefore it's not valid, and therefore uh, dy by dx equals zero never. Now, we go over to where dy by dx is undefined for part two, and is undefined when uh, x is less than or equal to 0, or when x equals 1. Because as we look over here, we want to see um, basically where the denominator is 0. So then if I set x equal to 1 here, I see that 1 minus 1 is 0, and 0 squared is still just 0, and 0 times root x will give me 0, which means that this uh, derivative is undefined. Or when x is less than or equal to 0, uh, when this is 0, or when it's less than 0, 
uh, that would be undefined there. So therefore, um, the dy by dx, the gradient function, is undefined when x is less than or equal to 0 or when x equals 1.